here's another thing you can do. So I'm going to go back to where we have, you know, we're doing our nano mesh, and if we turn on show placement, these are actually nano mesh meshes still. So if you want to say, you know what, I want to add, I want to have an addition to this skull here, but I want to use nano mesh planes to do it. So what I can do is, I can go in here to this subtool. I'm going to duplicate it off. I'm going to go in here to Nano Mesh, Edit Mesh, and it's like, you know what? I want to have a different subtool, uh, but still use those Nano Mesh placements. So I'm going to go in here to BI Brush Insert Primitives, and I'm going to go up here and just grab an Insert Sphere. So let's say I want to put spheres right into those eyeballs right here. Well, if I put them in this subtool here, you know, if I take these out and I make them new geometry, I won't be able to assign a new material to them. They're all going to be just an instance mesh, and they're going to be one mesh. Or there may be a multiple reasons why you want to do this. So what I'm going to do is I went through and I inserted them on that duplicate subtool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to visibility. I'm going to say hide point. I'm going to control shift drag in here to invert that. I'm going to say geometry, or geometry menu here modify topology, delete hidden. Now, you may wonder like, you know, why I have a custom menu, that's why. I don't like going in here, so at things I use all the time, I just go in here and I can very quickly say delete hidden. But, now what we have, if we go out of edit mesh mode in our nano mesh, you're gonna see, if we go into solo mode, we now have a poly mesh plane with just spheres on it, but those spheres line up perfectly with the original mesh here. But they're still nano mesh, so we can go in here and say turn off show instances, turn off show placement, uh, and even on the original skull here, we turn off show placement. So now we have nano mesh eyeballs being added to our original nano mesh skulls here. So we can go through here and we go back and edit mesh. We can go in here to our clay brush and we can say hold down Alt. We can flatten these out. Go into our standard brush here update these as needed, go into edit mesh mode, and again, just keep updating those on the fly. So, uh, a little bit of flexibility there for like adding complex or compound nano meshes on top of each other.